we shared so many things. Late night talks, trying to solve the problems of the world as we understood them. Politics, of movies, theater, books, good food, and good conversation. He was my son, my firstborn, and more. He was my friend. A constant reminder of how good life can be, and ultimately, how hurtful. I will never understand why anyone would want to hurt man, to act with such cruelty, such complete disregard for another human being. We spend the next few days with Matt, there is relatives, family, friends, and friends of Matt's that come to be with us. Sunday night, shortly after having left the hospital in close to midnight, we received a call from the hospital telling us we needed to return immediately. When we arrived at Matt's room, we were joined by friends and other members of the family. We surrounded his bed, each of us trying to touch him, to hold on, to keep him with us. Each of us thinking we need more time. 12.53 a.m. Monday, October 12th, that was no longer with us. We joined hands, wept, prayed over him and for ourselves. There was a kind of relief that that was no longer suffering, but also the realization that our suffering 